Da. Stai. Winter time is battery time. And when people usually have a problem with their cars, they are somewhere in the middle of nowhere, car won't work, they will call a service technician. And Germany's biggest service technician company has a statistic that says most of the car problems are because of the 12 volt battery. And it's not only for combustion engine, it also works for electric cars. So, in case you are a daily driver, you shouldn't have any problems with your battery. You usually drive the car, the battery, even the 12 volt battery will charge by regen braking as well. And it's also getting charged by uh, plugging it into a charging station. But when you're, in case you're in, in holiday for two or three weeks, in that case, uh, you might lose a lot of uh, electricity in the 12 volt battery. Just James May from Top Gear or the Grand Tour experienced that the hard way because he's owning a Model S from Tesla. Really, James. And uh, he just plugged it into his charger at home when, it, uh, when he was on holiday for two weeks. And when he came back, the 12 volt battery was empty because his Tesla didn't charge the battery when the whole battery system reached 100% and stopped charging the 12 volt battery. So the big car bo battery block has been on charge 100%, but the power of the 12 volt battery has been going down. Usually you can, ca can connect a normal 12 volt car charger here just like combustion engine car charger just at the battery and uh, that's more important than uh, keeping the big battery block charged just charge it 100 percent then uh, go on holiday for two or three weeks uh, shouldn't harm much of the battery you won't lose 10 percent or more so in that case it's much better, especially in winter when it's cold, to charge the 12 volt battery. Now you're asking why an electric car with such a massive chunk of battery block still has a 12 volt battery. Hmm, good question, and here's the answer it's just a safety feature. Just expect or just let's say this is the 12 or uh, the big in case of the Jaguar I pace 90 kilowatt hour battery and these are the cable connected to, to the battery in case of a heavy accident the battery has some um, kind of a kill switch and when you have a he heavy accident when the airbags pop out the kill switch will be activated and just disconnects the cables from the battery block but you still have to call emergency. You still have to need to have the lights on or to turn on warning lights. And uh, for that safety things, that's where the 12 volt battery is for. And uh, because the big battery block needs to be disconnected because uh, the 400 or 800 volt system just keep in mind, in case of a heavy accident, contact can break, cable can get loose, or some sharp metal parts can get pushed into a cable. And then you got 400 or 800 volt on a chassis, and that's not a thing you want. Then you touch your car and go just like this. So this is the reason why a battery electric car still has a 12 volt battery system. And uh, yeah, just keep in mind to service the 12 volt battery sometimes, especially when you're going on holiday, it's better to charge the 12 volt battery instead of the big one. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and have a nice day.